Oxy Labs has recently launched Oxy Copilot, which is an AI feature to reduce manual coding while scraping the web. Whenever we scrape a website, most of our time is spent understanding the structure of that website. We have to work hard to find the target element so that we can get the text that we need. And then we have to work on consistency of the same selector in different pages. Most of our time while web scraping is spent on this. The rest of the things are relatively very easy. In this video, I'll show you how to leverage AI to scrape any website using OxyCobilot. We'll see step by step how all these things are done. Let's move on to a computer screen and let's get started. So guys, the first thing that I want to do here is sign up on OxyLabs and then we are going to explore the OxyLab Copilot. So as you can see, I'm inside my computer screen and I'm going to write OxyLabs in the search bar. So let's click on this OxyLabs search result and let's sign up on the OxyLab website. If you haven't signed up, you need to sign up first, but I have already signed up. So I'm going to log into my account. So I'm going to log in here and I'm going to allow all the cookies and then I'm going to start with Google. Now, this is actually huge because as a person who scrapes the web, I understand how difficult of a task it is to scrape different websites, which keeps on changing. Now, if AI can get the job done that too accurately, I don't think anything can be better than that. So now I'll come here to Web Scraper API and I'm going to start the free trial. Let me read the terms and conditions and let's now click on start free trial. Now, as you can see, the free trial is activated, which means we are ready to start scraping the web. Now it is asking me to create an API user. So let me create an API user very quickly. Now we need this API user so that we can authorize authenticate whenever we are using OxyLabs Copilot. So let me write Harry here and let me choose a strong password. It is saying at least one uppercase character, at least one lowercase characters. Okay, so we need at least 12 character and also we can have underscore and I'm going to copy this and let's create our API user. So my username is Harry and the password is the one that I've copied to my clipboard. Now it is asking me to test this setup by copy pasting this command in the terminal. I'm going to fire git bash on my machine and then we are going to test this. So let's go. So let's copy this and let's paste this on git bash. And as you can see, the scraping has been started. Well, basically, we have just tested this web scraping setup. You can see this echo dot third generation, 16 million color something. We are seeing all the products, which means Amazon is getting scraped correctly. Awesome. That's a good news. Now, this is not how I want to use it. I want to actually run it as a program and I want to be able to scale the setup so that I can scrape the web at scale. So how do you use this in a program? I'm going to show you in a bit. But before that, let's go to this Scraper APIs playground so that we can play around with this API. Now Scraper API playground is loading. Now it even has code for Python, PHP, C Sharp, Golang, Java, Node.js, JSON. You can build the Scraper and then you can copy paste the code from here, which makes it very easy to use. Now I'm going to select Amazon here and let me open Amazon in incognito tab so that it is not biased and we start from a clean slate because I'm already logged into my Amazon account. Now let's understand the use case. Whenever there is a sale like Flipkart's Big Billion Day sale or Amazon's Great Indian Festival sale, we want to actually find the laptops that we can buy. And for that, we go to the web, we search for the laptops, we shortlist. But how about we have the data in the CSV? If we can somehow get this data in CSV, I think it's going to make the task a whole lot easier because we can simply look at that CSV and after looking at that CSV, we can make a decision of buying a particular laptop. So let's go to Amazon. I'm going to select search in the scraper section and now it is asking me for a query. So I'll enter search query, which is laptops. Now there are some additional parameters like parsing. Do you want to parse the data? Do you want a parser? If you don't want the parser, you can get rid of this. Now I'm going to select in here because I'm in India and then location should be your pin code. And now if you leave your locale as triple dot, it means that you want your locale to be detected automatically. Now this is the user agent, which means how do you want your request to go? Do you want to make it as a desktop Chrome or phone Chrome or Firefox? It's up to you. You can actually control who your client is. Now there is an option of JavaScript rendering. I'm going to enable it and let me explain what JavaScript rendering is. Whenever you go to a website, it first loads the HTML and after that, the JavaScript executes on that page, which might change that page and might not change the page. Now, if you enable JavaScript rendering, your page will change because of that JavaScript. And if you want to consider that change while scraping the web, you can enable JavaScript rendering. And if not, you can disable the JavaScript rendering. Now, there is no rule of thumb, but you can try both of these methods when you are scraping a random website and whichever works, you can adopt it. Now we can also give start page. We can give the number of pages. So it will take care of all the pages. It will select all the pages and give me the data from all of these pages. Basically, you are scraping pages in bulk. 
Now there is something called category ID in Amazon, which you can use. This ID is the category ID, the ID that you are seeing in the URL bar. Now you can copy this ID and you can paste this ID into your Oxylab scraper. And that is going to consider only the products from this category ID. Now you can also have merchant ID and you can get results only from a particular seller. Now these are some of the additional parameters that you can use with this scraper, which makes this scraper really very custom. Now let's click on submit request. I'm really very excited and let's see if this is able to scrape the results for me. Now it is asking me to change the pages to a positive integer. My bad. Let me change this to a positive integer one and two. Now this is going to take some time and that doesn't matter. Let me tell you why that doesn't matter. Whenever we are scraping a website, we usually do it as a cron job on a server. Now if we are using cron jobs on a server. We don't care how much time it takes because most of the time it is a nightly job. Now, if you do parsing false, you're going to get the HTML. Now I'll enable this parsing as true so that I get only the past content. But in that case, you are going to see the HTML. Now you might be thinking, why would we need the entire HTML? And we would need the entire HTML because at times we want to save the HTML page so that we can scrape more parameters from the page later. So let us say you are extracting price, title and reviews. And later you thought, I also want to extract how many were bought last month. You can always do that because you have the raw HTML. Now the most impressive thing here is that it has given me all the results. It has given me the URL. It has given me the ASIN. ASIN is basically the unique code for a given product on Amazon. It has given me sales volume. It has given me currency is prime or not, which means that I can analyze this data. Even if I am an Amazon seller as a seller, I can analyze this data and I can draw insights on which products to keep in inventory, which products to sell, because this is giving me sale estimate also. Now this was just one website. Oxylabs give you a lot of different options to scrape other websites like Bing, Google and other e-commerce websites. Now you can extract any other website using AI as well. You just give the prompt and Oxy Copilot do the rest of the things. Now let me show you this add parsing instructions feature. You can build your own parser using AI. Now there are four methods to build a parser. Either you can create using AI or you can use your template, import your code or you can start from scratch. Now I'm going to create with AI because this is going to be the simplest way to create the parser. So let's click on create using AI and I'm going to go to the Amazon search page. I'm going to write laptops. Let me enter the search page URL here. Now I want to give a prompt. So I'll say I want to extract name, price and star ratings. So I need a very simple parser and I'm going to enable JavaScript rendering because I want JavaScript to be executed whenever my page loads. Let's click on generate instructions and this is going to take some time. It is basically generating the parser. Now, as you can see, it has generated the parsing instructions for me. It basically generates a parsing schema, which is capable of extracting this data out. You can see we have name, price, star ratings. Amazing. Now, these are the parsing instructions, which contains the data to get that parse data. These instructions are basically XPath and regex, which which Oxylabs will use to get the past data. So let's save the instructions and now let's click on submit request and you can see that I have all the results in the same format as I've specified in the custom parser, which is amazing. We needed only the name, star ratings and price and we got those. Some of the fields are automatically added by Oxylabs Copilot like created ad, updated ad, which is fine. And it also adds the source URL, which makes a lot of sense. Now let's explore this Oxy Copilot, which is build your scraper with AI. Nice. Let's try this out. So I'll put the URL URL to scrape and I'll also put the requirements. Let me go to Flipkart's website and let me grab a product from there. Let me search for iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's copy the URL and let's take this URL and paste it here. And I'll say I want to scrape price, title, ratings and reviews. And let's click on generate scraper. Now it is asking me to add the parsing instructions. I'll continue without parsing. We'll add this later. So I'll delete the previous parser and I'm going to build my own parser. So let me click on create with AI. I'll replace the Amazon URL with Flipkart URL and I'm going to change this prompt and I'll say I want to extract title, price and star ratings. Let's click on generate instructions. The JavaScript rendering is true and it is generating. So let's wait for it to generate. And as you can see, it has successfully fetched the price, title, ratings. Amazing. So let's save the instructions and let's submit the request. Initially, it was not giving me the correct results. And after some time, I realized that disabling the JavaScript rendering did the task for me. So I disabled the JavaScript rendering and now I'm getting the output. It is giving me all the information from the page. So I hope that you were able to understand how to scrape the web using AI. And I hope that you like this OxyCopilot AI. I'll put all the relevant information in the description of this video and in the pinned comments. So go ahead, sign up to Oxylabs, try this out. And 
and start free trial. It's absolutely free and definitely you're going to love it. If you are somebody who scraped the web very often, this is going to be very useful for you. Try to play around with Python code, JavaScript code. If you are a Go developer, you can play around with Go code as well. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.